Ever wonder what it feels like to be in the zone, where everything just seems to flow effortlessly? This is more than just a fleeting sensation. It is a concept known as the flow state, a mental state in which a person is fully immersed in a feeling of energized focus, full involvement, and enjoyment in the process of an activity. It's like being carried by a current, where each action and decision moves seamlessly into the next. Now imagine if you could harness this state at will. The possibilities for increased productivity and performance are immense. Whether you're a writer battling writer's block, an athlete striving for that personal best, or a student preparing for a major exam, being in the flow state can make a world of difference. But how does one achieve this state of peak performance? What's the science behind it? Stay tuned as we delve into the science behind the flow state and how to achieve it. What if we told you that there's a science behind this state of peak performance? Yes, it's true. Flow state, the zone of optimal performance, is more than just a state of mind. It's a neurological phenomenon that has been studied extensively. When you enter a flow state, your brain undergoes significant changes. Several neurochemicals, including dopamine, serotonin, endorphins, anandamide, and norepinephrine, flood the brain. Each of these chemicals contributes to the unique experience of flow. Dopamine, for example, boosts focus, motivation, and enjoyment, while endorphins help us push past our physical limits. Anandamide, on the other hand, stimulates lateral thinking and creativity, helping us see connections we might not otherwise notice. But it's not just about the chemicals. The brain's electrical activity also changes during flow. Normally, our brains operate at the beta frequency, associated with active, conscious thought. But in flow, the brain shifts to the alpha-theta border, a state of relaxed concentration where the subconscious can shine. This shift allows us to engage in deep creative thinking, free from the constraints of our usual logical processes. This combination of neurochemical release and altered brainwave activity results in the experience of flow. It's a state of hyper-focus, where we're so absorbed in what we're doing that we lose track of time. We feel fully immersed, deeply engaged, and incredibly productive. Our creativity skyrockets and our performance reaches its peak. The science of flow state is fascinating, and it's still an active area of research. Scientists are continually uncovering new insights into how our brains achieve this state of peak performance. But one thing is clear. Flow isn't just a nice to have. It's a powerful tool that can help us perform better, think more creatively, and enjoy our work more. Now that we understand what happens in our brain during a flow state, let's explore how we can intentionally trigger this state. Achieving a state of flow may seem daunting, but it's actually within everyone's reach. So, how exactly can you tap into this superpower? Well, it's all about creating the right environment, setting clear goals, and engaging in deep work. Firstly, let's talk about environment. You need an environment that's conducive to concentration. This could be a quiet space, a specific corner in your room, or even a certain coffee shop. It's about finding a space where you can work without interruptions. This also includes eliminating digital distractions. So go ahead and put your phone on silent, close those unnecessary tabs, and create a space where your focus can thrive. Next, it's about setting clear goals. This doesn't mean setting lofty, unattainable goals. Rather, it's about setting clear, achievable targets that align with your bigger picture. When you have a clear goal, your mind has something tangible to work towards. This clarity provides a roadmap for your mind, directing all your energy towards achieving that goal. Now, on to deep work. This isn't about working for long, exhausting hours. It's about working with intensity. It's about diving deep into your work and giving it your all. It's about fully immersing yourself in the task at hand and pushing past your comfort zone. This is where the magic happens. This is when you enter a state of flow. But here's the thing, achieving flow state isn't something that happens overnight. It's a process. And like any process, it requires consistency and practice. It's about making a conscious effort to create the right environment, set clear goals, and engage in deep work every single day. It's about practicing these habits until they become second nature. So start small. Create your ideal work environment, set a clear achievable goal, and dive deep into your work. And remember, it's okay if you don't achieve a state of flow right away. It's a process, and with patience and practice, you'll get there. Achieving flow state isn't a one-time event, but a process that requires practice and patience. To wrap up, let's summarize the key points on achieving flow state. The science behind flow state is rooted in our brain's ability to shift gears, creating an optimal state of consciousness where we feel and perform our best. 
it's when our brain waves slow from the rapid-fire beta waves of our normal waking state to the more rhythmical theta waves. This shift allows us to tap into a deep well of creativity, productivity, and focus. Achieving this state isn't about flipping a switch. It's a delicate balance of elements that need to align perfectly. It's like a symphony, where each instrument plays a crucial role in creating the harmony that is flow. Firstly, setting clear goals is critical. Knowing what you want to achieve gives your mind a target to aim for. It's not about setting a lofty, unattainable goal, but rather a challenging yet achievable one. This balance between challenge and skill is the sweet spot for flow. Secondly, cultivating the right conditions is paramount. This includes managing your environment to minimize distractions and setting aside dedicated time for deep focused work. It's about creating a space where your mind can dive deep into the task at hand, uninterrupted. Thirdly, and perhaps most importantly, is the practice. Flow is like a muscle that grows stronger with use. The more you practice entering this state, the easier it becomes. It's about training your brain to navigate this shift in consciousness, to recognize the signs of flow and to stay there longer. But remember, patience is key. Achieving flow state is a journey, not a destination. It may take time to find your rhythm, to understand what works for you and what doesn't, but with patience, practice, and persistence, you can unlock this powerful state of mind and tap into your peak performance. Remember, achieving flow state is all about creating the right conditions, setting clear goals, and practicing consistently. So, are you ready to unlock your peak performance?